Hey guys, welcome to Blog Tip Tuesday, where I share helpful blog tips every Tuesday. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you do and hit that bell for notifications so you get notified when I release a new video. Now today, we're gonna to talk about the top 10 plugins you need for your website. I'll show you what they are and how to download them. And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Whitney Bonds and I run a six-figure blog called Tried and True Mom Jobs, where I show moms and really anyone how to make legitimate money from home. I built my site into a six-figure business in under two years with absolutely no previous experience. I'm a huge believer if I can do it, anybody can. So I wanna go along with you guys on your blogging journey and help you out for free because it's what I wish I had when I first got started. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you guys have been following this series, you know that I just created a brand new website just to show you guys how easy it is using Elementor. So that is an obvious plugin you must have if you follow along in that video. And for those of you who don't know what Elementor is, it's simply a drag and drop website builder that allows you to easily create professional looking websites. So if your website is already designed, you don't have to worry about it. But let's first talk about what plugins are. Plugins basically allow you to add features to your website without having to learn code. So if you don't know code like me, you're gonna need some plugins to enhance your website. Now the first plugin on this list is a plugin called Yoast. So let's go ahead over here and scroll down to plugins and then we wanna go down to add new. And this is how you add plugins to your website. So we wanna go right here in the search and put in Yoast. And this is the one that you wanna to add to your website. You see here, mine is already active on my website, but I wanna show you really quickly what Yoast does to your website and the benefits of it. So I'm gonna to go to an article I have here on the highest paying apps, just to show you the benefits of having this plugin on your website. So go right here and go to edit. Now here you can see it says the readability of this article is good, and then the SEO analysis is just okay. Now I don't put too much into what they say right here because this article is ranking number two on Google for highest paying apps. Let's go ahead and look at it right now. So we went to Google and put highest paying apps. Let's see where I show up. That's me right here. Number two, tried and true mom jobs right here. And you see this title right here, 16 best free highest paying apps that pay you money in 2020. It doesn't say, I can't say 20, it says 2020 right here. But anyway, this is what the Yoast plugin does for me. It allows me to write in this header so when people are searching for highest paying apps, this is the title that comes. I'm able to put in a good clickable title that hopefully they'll read my article above this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that works right here. But yeah, so once again, check out this ebook. I'll put it in the description below on, it's called On Page SEO and it tells you how you should write your articles to make sure that they can rank on Google. I'm gonna put that ebook in the description below because this is the reason why I'm able to get my articles to rank on Google. I also have a number of free videos that I've created to help you guys get ranked on Google. So you scroll all the way to the very bottom. You can see that I put in my focus key phrase in here, which is highest paying apps. So this was the keyword that I'm targeting for this article. And as, as you can see, it's doing pretty well. And this is where I put in the 16 best free highest paying apps that pay you money in 2020. I can go ahead and edit this snippet. And this is where you can manipulate all of that. And this is how you see all the articles that you see on Google. Most of those websites have Yoast and they create clickable titles that will make you click on their website so you can read their articles. And here I put in my SEO title and then the meta description. The slug is also known as the permalink and I go more in depth in that in another video that I will post and put in the description below so you guys can check that out just to get a better understanding about SEO and how it all works. But this is a plugin that you want and need to have on your website. The next plugin on this list is a plugin called Pretty Links. This is definitely a must have and really for people who do affiliate marketing, which most bloggers do. If you know anything about affiliate marketing, some of your referral links that the companies give you, they look like spam and no one wants to click on a link that looks like spam. Let me give you a perfect example. Now I did an article about how you can make money losing weight and I partnered with Healthy Wage because you have to go through their program in order to make money to lose weight. So every time that I mention Healthy Wage, I put my affiliate link in there. So if someone signs up using my referral link, I earn a commission and they can make money by losing weight. So it's like a win-win. So if you if you see that I hover over Healthy Wage, it says shareacell.com and a whole bunch of other just numbers and letters. If someone saw that, 
they would say, that's not healthy wage. That says share a sale. So they would get confused. Now, a good way to go around this is by using pretty links. And pretty links is just all in the name. It makes the links prettier. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead right here. I'm gonna right click and copy this referral link of mine. And I'm gonna show you how it works. And this is the one that you want right here. You're gonna go ahead and install that. And then it's gonna pop up have its own little area in your dashboard and you're gonna see it right here and it says pretty links. So you can go to add new. Okay, and then I'm gonna title this healthy wage and then I'm gonna put my target URL. So the URL that I copy and pasted, I'm gonna put it right here. So this is my referral link for healthy wage. But I don't want people to see this because it looks like spam almost. So I want them to see, it's gonna say healthy wage. Okay, so I'll put healthy wage. I'm gonna go ahead and update that. So let me show you how this works. So this is my new link right here and it says tried and true mom jobs backslash healthy wage. So I'm gonna copy this right here and I'm gonna add a new tab just to show you how this works. So I'm gonna go right to, it says tried and true mom jobs.com backslash healthy wage and it takes me directly to the healthy wage website. Now I love this tool so much because Affiliate programs often change and when they do you are given new links and it is such a hassle to go through all your articles and update those links. So if you're promoting the same affiliate program in like a hundred articles, you would have to go through all those articles and update the links. But pre-links makes it so easy to just do this with one click. So say for example, Healthy Wage says I gave you guys new links. Can you go ahead and just update your links? So all I would have to do is go right back to my dashboard. I will go to healthy wage, go to edit, and I would simply edit the link here. And every time that I have my URL here, it will update every article that I use this specific URL with the new link automatically with just one click. So I highly recommend to use pretty links, especially if you're not tracking your affiliate links, trying to figure out which articles get you more money or something like that. I highly recommend to use pretty links. But it's important to note that not all affiliate services allow link cloaking. That's what this is called. Like ever popular programs like Amazon Associates, they do not allow this. So you wanna make sure that you check with your affiliate partners before you go ahead and do things like this. There is a premium version of this plugin, but you do not have to purchase it. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and just use the free version and utilize how great it is. The third plugin is called Broken Link Checker. Now this plugin checks your blog for broken links and missing images and notifies you on the dashboard if any are found. This is so important because websites that you may reference in your blog posts or images on your site can often get removed for many reasons. And the only way you would even know about it is if you have this plugin. Think about it, you're not visiting every article you wrote every day, so how would you know a link that you reference is no longer working? That's why you need this plugin. Let me show you an example. So what this link is called is Broken Link Checker, and I have it activated right here. And I'm gonna show you an example of why this is so important. So I'm gonna go over here under Settings, and then I'm gonna go to, it's called Link Checker, once you install it. And I go to where it says up here, found three broken links. And just so you guys know, I do have this notification here to send me an email notification about newly detected broken links. So I do get notified every time that a link is broken. So I'll go ahead right here, found three broken, broken links and it's every two, 72 hours. So as you can see, I have three broken links and it shows me what website. So right here, it's my privacy policy. I have a link right here that is currently not found. So if I clicked on this link right here, it says that this page isn't here anymore. And I would never know that without this plugin. So I'm gonna go back to my website and this is where I would go ahead and update this link. I can simply go ahead and edit the URL right here where it will update the link in this article or I can go directly to my article right here, go to edit and update the link inside the actual page of my privacy policy. So that's why I love this work link checker. I feel like it's something that a lot of people don't talk about and it's definitely something that you guys should download because you don't wanna be referencing links or sending your user somewhere where the link no longer exists. So it's just a great way to keep a good audit of your website and making sure that all the links are still working. The next plugin is a plugin called Short Pixel. Now one of the biggest mistakes bloggers make is that they upload full size images right into WordPress. Big images are the number one reason people have slow sites and Google doesn't like to show websites that are slow in the search results for different queries. So that's why you want to use ShortPixel to optimize your images to keep your site running fast. Now ShortPixel has a paid version, 
But to get around that, they have this free compression tool on their website where you can compress your images before putting them on your website. I'm gonna show you really quickly what that looks like. So if you go to Short Pixel, or if you Google Short Pixel, it should be the first website that comes up. And if you go to Compress on their website, and you just put your images right here, just by clicking in it, and then your images will pop up on your desktop or wherever you have them on your computer, they will optimize the images for you. Number five is Auto Optimize, and this is for caching. And this makes your site faster by optimizing CSS, JS, images, Google Fonts, and more. All the stuff I don't know anything about. It just makes your site faster and puts it all together. So let's go right here to Auto Optimize. And this, you see this one right here? This is the one that I installed on my website. I wanna go really quickly to see what that looks like. Oh, up here I can just go to Auto Optimize. And you can see what I have checked here. And I actually had my WordPress genius friend put this one together on my website for me. So we're gonna go and do everything that he checked here. So if you just follow along all the things that he checked, the CSS options, he only checked these top two up here. HTML option, check this one. Even the ones down here. One, this one, this one, and this one right here. And then you save your changes. So we did here. He didn't do anything here for images or critical CSS, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And that's that one. Number six is a plugin called Anti-Spam B, and this is for a day-to-day -day comment and trackback spam fighting plugin. Now this is very easy to download. The default settings will work just fine and there's nothing extra you need to do. Number seven is Updraft Plus. Now Updraft Plus is a plugin that backs up the content on your website, so if something ever happened to your website, you wouldn't lose everything because this site saves a draft of all your work on your website. So to make this plugin work, you should always connect it to a Dropbox or Google Drive. Now many hosting providers, they provide backing up your website, but I've seen so many of my friends that are bloggers, that didn't even help. So it always is just a good backup to have a backup security. So let's go ahead right here and go to Updraft Plus. And I uninstalled this just so I could take you guys through the process on how to put this together. So we're gonna go right here to Updraft Plus Backup Plugin. Go ahead and activate it. All right, then we're gonna go to our plugins and go to Updraft Plus and go to Settings. All right, then we're gonna go to Settings. And now you want your files backup schedule to be weekly and retain this main mini scheduled backups to two. And for database backup schedule, you want this to be daily and you want to set it to hold five versions. Then you're gonna select an offsite location to store your backups. Now I know many people will probably say that they recommend Dropbox, but I like to use Google Drive, so that's what I'm gonna use for this one. And then down here, it's going to just set me up right here. It's gonna call the folder of Draft Plus. I need to authenticate with my Google account. So I wanna go ahead and do these instructions right here. And these are the things that I'm gonna include in my backup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes. Now, once you're done with that, your backup should run. Number eight is a social share plugin that I use called Sassy Social Share. If you guys have Elementor Pro, they have a social share widget that you can use for your website. For this purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you Sassy Social Share and how I have it set up. And as you can see, this is the one that I have right now for my website. And I wanna show you guys my settings just to show you guys what you can do for your website. And then we're really gonna focus on this right here. So you have two options you can do. I do not like the floating interface where you actually have your social media icons are just floating and they go along with you as you're reading articles. I don't like that. That is a distraction to me and I do not want to distract my users from reading my articles just to try and get them to share my content. So if you see this floating interface right here, I do not have it enabled right here. If you want yours enabled, you will go ahead right here and check that. But I definitely recommend that you do not do this. For standard interface, I do have mine checked because I do want my social media icons to be at the very bottom at, of all of my blog posts. So I have this one right here checked for the URL of the web page where icons are located. It's by on the default. This is where you can change the title. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but right now I just kept it as their default, which says spread the love. And then right here, if you scroll down a little bit more, this is where I chose which social media icons I wanna display at the end of my articles. So you can see right here, I just only wanted Facebook, Pinterest, and I think I had Twitter. You know, I think those are the only ones that I have shared or Twitter or something like that. And then if you see here, I do not want these social media icons at the top of my content. I only want them at the bottom of my content. So I have it checked right here. 
And then if you see in this gray area up right here, this is for the pro version. I do not have that. You do not need it. And right here, I only want this placement on my posts, which are my blog posts. I do not want this on my homepage. I do not want this on any of my pages, just my blog posts. And then I can, I enable the more icon, which I wanna show you what that looks like in a second. And then this other stuff right here, as you can see that it's grayed out, is for the pro version that they want me to unlock. All right, I'm gonna show you a blog post right now, show you what that looks like. The love, they can spread it on Facebook easily, Pinterest, they can tweet it. And this is that end more. So if you click on that, it will show you all the different other ways that they can share this through the different social media outlets. So this is a platform that I use to share my content on different social media platforms. Number nine is a plugin called WordFence and it's for security. Security is so important when you have a website and you want to be protected from hackers. So when you have a website, you wanna make sure that you have a strong username and password. You don't wanna use usernames like admin because those are pretty common and only leaves the hackers to figure out what your password is. And you always wanna make sure that your plugins and your theme are updated. Now the awesome Grayson Bell has a wonderful Facebook group called Blogging on WordPress and he created this import code to help us bloggers set up the best security with WordFence. So I'm gonna put the code that he created in the description of this video so you can copy it as well. But let, let's go ahead and download this. So we're in plugins, add new. And I'm gonna go ahead right here and go to WordFence. And then right here, you're gonna go ahead and put in your email address. And then you're gonna go here and you're gonna check no right here when it says, would you also like to join our WordPress security mailing list? And then you wanna make sure that you go ahead and check this box to say that you agree to their terms and conditions. Make sure you read it first. So this next page right here is gonna ask you if you have a premium license. Go, go ahead and just put in no thanks. Now, if you go back to your dashboard, it's gonna say, do you want WordFence to stay up to date automatically? And you're gonna go ahead and put no thanks. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead over here and then we are going to go to WordFence and go to Tools. And then you're gonna go up here and go to Import Export Options. Now I'm gonna copy this code that I have from Grayson that I'll put in the description below for you guys. So I'm gonna go over here right here and put in the code right here and then Import WordFence Options. Okay, that took a little minute. So let's go ahead and reload. Okay, so it says Import Successful. Now by adding Grayson's code right here, it did take away our email address. So we're gonna have to go back down to WordFence where we put in our information and go to all options. And then we're gonna go to, I believe it's general WordFence options. And then where to email alerts. And this is where you're gonna put in your email address again. And then we're gonna go back to our dashboard. And you see this pop-up right here? This is for WordFence right here. We're gonna go ahead to go to click here to configure. Now the options right here, they depend on what server you have. Now it's gonna try and select the right server and then tell you to download the .ht access file. Now this one is gonna get a little complicated right here. So thankfully our host SiteGround that I recommend, they will do a manual setup for us. Once you click continue, it should say that you are optimized or it will say it's not ready yet. And this is usually due to the server configuration. But this is all you need to do to set up security for your website. Number 10 is to download a plugin called GA Google Analytics. So this is the plugin that you wanna install because this is what you're gonna need in order to connect Google Analytics to your website. Google Analytics is so important to have on your website and it's the tool that everyone trusts. So if you wanna get brand deals or get accepted to different ad platforms, they're gonna ask you how much traffic you're getting to your website and they're gonna to wanna to see your Google Analytics to verify it. With Google Analytics, you can find out everything about how people are coming to your website, what links they clicked on, how long they stayed on your website, if they were male or female, if they were on a desktop or a phone. The list really just goes on and on about all the information that you can get from your Google Analytics. So this is my top 10 list of plugins that you must have for your website. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. All right, see you guys next week.